Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So I do have a pickup video at long last. Uh, so I've been able to pick up a few toys this week. Again, on the toy piece, going through eBay, going through Facebook Marketplace, going through any other toy resellers I know. I've been able to pick up quite a stash of toys this week. So we'll go through those right now. So I'm gonna stay right on top of this Bucky O'Hare collecting the line that I'm trying to currently do. Uh, so I'm trying to complete the whole line of Bucky O'Hare carded. I found out there's variants, uh, which I kept saying, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get into. But the holder in me, the toy holder in me, is making me think I need to pick up these variants as well. So I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go try and complete the whole Bucky O'Hare line on card. So you guys know where I am currently. I've got Deadeye, I've got Willy with the glasses, and I've been able to pick up this week Toadborg, uh, which looks pretty damn good. Uh, still carded. I want to say English, but they're not. They're American carded, aren't they? Uh, so yeah, I'm going for the American carded. Uh, I've got to be a bit careful because I know there's quite a lot of European cards out there at the moment, and looking across eBay especially, and other toy sellers. The prices are creeping up on these 90 toys now. Bucky O'Hare being a prime example. You used to be able to pick these up for 20, 20 to 30. They're just not there anymore. You just can't find them online as easy as what you would give a couple of months ago. I know there's been a lot of YouTubers putting a lot of focus out on Bucky O'Hare in terms of the loose collections they've got completed. I've seen it in a lot of room tours and I'm wondering if a lot of people now given the kind of age of the 90 toys coming in full swing in terms of people wanting to collect those series and the fact that a lot of the, especially Bucky O'Hare is getting a lot of airtime on YouTube across other toy collectors, uh, toy resellers, that people are now wanting to pick them up. So I'm still gonna stay positive. I'm gonna complete the line. Uh, but yes, I'm three figures. There's 10 to collect, I've got three figures. Uh, and there's two vehicles to get. Let me bring you on to the next bit. I've been able to pick up a boxed Bucky O'Hare, it's quite a decent nick as well, Toad Croaker. So yeah, really happy with this. It's in good nick. Boom. Really happy, so I've got one. I need the other one now to go, which is the bad guys uh, spaceship. So yeah, that is the one I'm after next. So I've been able to pick this up as well. So I'm still going strong with this Bucky O'Hare line. I'm not gonna leave off now till I complete it. And it would be one of the only toy lines, I guess, that I've completed the whole run, which I'm planning to complete the whole run on. Uh, you guys know I like to kind of just stay with maybe one or two toys from each line because it keeps me, it keeps me positive. It keeps me going in terms of collecting toys. Uh, what's been frustrating, especially with the Bucky O'Hare line, is when you start to trying to complete lines or sets. You, I, me especially, I've become really irritated and frustrated that I can't get certain toys or I'm going to have to more than likely outsource to the US to bring some of the toys over, which then I've got to pay the shipping, I've got to pay the import charges. And I'm like, right, actually, I'm now looking at maybe 50 to 60 pound a figure, which it still isn't too bad. I think these will definitely increase more than that. But it's just, I'm just gutted I can't find them as easily as what I would, I've been able to find them a few months ago. Uh, but yes, definitely going to complete that line. Let's move on to what I have next. So again, in theme of just picking up in terms of one line, just to have something from that toy line. I picked up Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. So you will notice here, it has got a little bit of the card damage here, but I'm happy with this. You do not see these that often, especially within the UK. This is, again, another brilliant 90s cartoon, 80s movie, which I enjoyed as well. They just, the movies remind me a little bit of like your Toxic Crusader movies that you used to get. Toxic Offender even, sorry. But yeah, definitely like this. Well, absolutely love adding that to the collection. Uh, so that's another one that's come this week. Another one that I got as well. And guys, in terms of where I'm getting these from, so the Bucky O'Hare I picked up from... Who did I pick the Bucky O'Hare up from? I'm struggling now. No, Bucky O'Hare single figure I picked up from eBay. The Bucky O'Hare Killer Tomatoes and some of the other bits and pieces are picked up from a reseller on the Ghost Booters group that I keep talking about on Facebook. So went through a guy that's been selling on there, picked up all these other bits and pieces that you're going to see. And then I've picked up a few other pieces from Toy Planet UK. And I keep talking about Toy Planet UK and a lot of other YouTubers are talking about that as well. They've got a brilliant selection of toys, good prices, so definitely check out the Facebook page. So one of the pieces I picked up from the uh, Toy Planet UK is this little bagged Willow figure. 
Uh, it was only four pound. I'm quite chuffed with that, happy. I need that, I don't have any Willow figures for my collection at the moment. Have movie memorabilia in terms of UK quad posters, the American one sheet poster rolled, uh, some of the limited DVDs, etc. VHS, but I don't have any of the figures. So this is my first figure into Willow. Uh, again, they seem quite hard to come by as well. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for those. Again, staying on the Toy Planet UK, picked up Spawn Angelica figure. Uh, so I've stayed away from the Spawn figures just because there seems to be so many of them. Uh, and I wasn't really into Spawn when it first came out. So I brought the comics like everyone did, I guess, in the 90s. Image was a huge in terms of great artists and uh, storytellers jumping ship, having their own label. And Image was the place to be, especially in the 90s. Uh, and I picked up a lot of Image merchandise, but never really touched on the toys. They don't go for excessive amount of money. So I thought, right, I'm going to pick up some of the figures that I'd want, that I remember the characters from the story. So I want to get a spawn, a decent spawn. No, there's so many spawn figures uh, in terms of the character out there. I want to pick up a clown and then Angelica I wanted to pick up as well. So I picked that up. I didn't realise a part of this line, they also brought out some of the other image comics, uh, which this is a little bit of a spoiler and it's more for my comic video that I'm going to be doing straight after this because I'm trying to keep videos separate in terms of toys, games and comics. Uh, but it does feed into toys as well. So one of the guys that I buy my comics off of in terms of Facebook marketplace and Facebook groups uh, sent me this McFarlane Toys catalog. Uh, I won't go into too much detail because I'm more than likely just put it into my comic uh, piece. But in terms of, yes, you can see some of the characters here. I'm going to end up just showing most of it, aren't I? But yeah, what I didn't realise is that they had some of the other, like sh you can see here, Shadowhawk, Max, I definitely, definitely want to get a Max figure. So I I really didn't realise I didn't realise that figure come out. So I've started to try and hunt that figure down. It looks like it's only available in the US. Uh, so I'm happy to get that shipped over because I love the comic book, love the character, I love the art on it as well. So I'm definitely gonna get that and put that in the collection. The other piece that I want to try and get, and it's a bit of a grail, is the pit figure with little Timmy. So I'm looking the cheapest I can find online at the moment, which is still a hefty price, is about £400. Uh, but the figure, it was a build, it was like a builder figure from the, oh God, what was it from? It's from, I believe it was Toy, was it Toy Biz Legendary line, which had a number of this, uh, a number of the image figures in. I think there might have even been a Judge Dredd figure in there. Uh, and you, you had the builder pieces in there. And guys, if my knowledge isn't all that on this, drop it in the comments. But I'm more, I'm more than certain I'm there. Maybe maybe 90% there. So, yeah, you build the figure and it come up as Pit. I'm going to put a picture in the corner so you see what I mean with little Timmy. Uh, but again, brilliant figure. Uh, something I really should have just got in the 90s but didn't end up buying. And now it's so desirable as most of these builder figures are. Uh, so, yeah, I'll leave that there. But, yeah, picked up the Spawn figure. Then we get onto a little bit of retro magic here. Don't know how this one's gonna go down. But you look around, I love my toys, love my games, DVDs, anything pop culture retro related, I'm getting it for the collection. Because uh, you would have seen, and I guess you would have seen these in my boot sale videos, but even things like egg cups, you know, I'll pick these up. Uh, I don't, not gonna use them, but I'll definitely pick them up, pack lunch boxes, etc. So one of the things I remember, nerve guns, uh, super soakers, all that kind of stuff I'll pick up. I've got a couple of the Sega lock-ons up there. You know, you remember all that kind of stuff. You'd have seen that I brought the Goosebumps, Monster Face. So anything retro related, it'll either be here, be in storage. I've got it somewhere. One of the bits I thought I'm going to start getting into is kind of these toys that have, you know, I don't know how the hell they got signed off at board level. I don't even know who came up with the concept. But you've got like, and I'll try and put a picture in the corner again, like the E.T., uh, not going to go into what it looks like or what people have called it, but you've got the E.T. finger that lights up. Uh, obviously, a lot of talk around that and how the hell did that get released. You've got the Punisher figure where it turns into a gun and the gun's in an inappropriate place. You've got the Disney figure of Tarzan where you do the motion, uh, you press the motion sensor on the back and he does another strange gesture in terms of how that figure moves. Uh, but there's loads. You had the, the slime. I think they were by the water soaker company in the early 90s as well that would fire slime but it was a white slime and the other was all that white slime going over kids it didn't look healthy it didn't look right 
one of the other ones in terms of the uh, the name they come up with this. And I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And if I'm not, I'm just going to look like a plum, aren't I? But, Balzac. From the, the 90s to 1992, say? Ideal brought out Balzac. So this was where literally you'd have the coating of the ball. And it... You could have them in all different patterns. They would like these retro patterns, but I've got a Batman one here in terms of Batman Adventures one here. And then you get a couple of balloons inside and you blow the balloons up or you could fill them with water and you put them in, but you put a balloon inside the material blow, and just kick it around like a football. Don't know if it took off as well as what it should have uh, because it was called like the newest, cutest, craziest craves. Uh, but yeah, balls out. What a name for a uh, water balloon. But ideally, I think it's done quite well uh, give or take for a little while in the 90s. So I thought I picked it up. Four pound. Four pound on eBay. Uh, no one's, no one was bidding on it. So I thought I'll wait till the last second. And I thought I'm not going to let that. I'm not going to let that get away for four pounds. So I picked that up. So this piece I would have picked up. And there's quite a few toys. So you've got the Simpsons action stuff. So you can see on the back there. Kind of. I'm not even. I wasn't even too sure if this was a legit line. Because I don't remember this coming out by Mattel. With the original toys that they brought out but i thought you know what i'll pick it up it's i've got a collection of the simpson figures anyway so i thought i'll add that to that simpsons collection so i've got that as well in the collection then another one that's definitely taken off but it doesn't get spoken about as much as other toy lines and i expect this one's going to take off they're already pricey in terms of what you're paying figures anywhere from 40 to 50 pound a figure uh I think we're going to hear a lot more of these as the weeks go on and maybe throughout this year. Crash dummies. So, yeah, I don't see a lot of people actually mentioning these in a lot of their YouTube videos. But, yeah, crash dummies. I love these toys growing up. Uh, being able to press the buttons, their limbs would fall off. You know, you have the cars that crashed into the wall. Sounds quite, quite, sounds quite disturbing, to be fair. But it was a lot of fun as you were growing up. So, yes. Picked up a Crash Dummy, and this is of the Junkyard. One of the Junkyard bad guys for Crash Dummies. So Jack Hammer. So yeah, really happy with that. And as you guys can see on the back, some of the characters you could have picked up. But they had everything in this line. I remember you had the motorbike, which pulled away. Uh, the, I never, ever had the actual Crash Centre, where you could absolutely just annihilate your Crash Dummies in different bits and pieces. So you could crash them against a the wall, throw them through that kind of fake brick wall that falls apart, take apart their limbs again very disturbing toy line uh but i loved it so yes crash dummies next one so a little bit newer i don't think this is even oh it's got 96 on it so it is from the 90s didn't realize that i thought it's from the 2000s but who didn't love mars attack so mars attack's been going for years i think from the 70s when you had the cards that come out on the uh comics etc uh tops cards but yes Mars Attacks. So I don't need too many of this line, but I thought this figure looks quite good for the price it was. So I picked that up. It actually says it comes with a mission disc as well. So I believe, not that I can see in here, or maybe it's certain toys that, oh no, tell a lie. So yeah, so it says certain toys come with the floppy discs, a little bit like what your Independence Day figures would have come with out of the 90s so i know in the 90s you started to get a couple of toy lines so i'm wondering if this mars attack toy come out at the same time as those independence day toys because they started moving where you'd have floppy discs in the back of the toys and it's kind of get you interacting with your pc as well as having the figures as well as, as i was saying as you're going into the late 90s gaming starts to come full throttle like re everyone who's collecting toys to comics or stops moves completely into gaming when you've got the release of you like you know your n64 your playstation uh, all those consoles where you just got great games and different platforms of games coming out. And then finally, I want to say finally, I'm looking around to see if I've got anything else. I think that's it toy-wise. I have got a, a, quite a bit more coming next week. But yes, the final two lines. And what's not to love about the movie, but also about the cartoon and about the toy line. It wouldn't be the 90s. Without, and we're bang on the 90s, 1990, it wouldn't be the 90s without Beetlejuice. What a movie. Uh, enjoy, I quite enjoyed the cartoon as well, to be fair. But the toy line for me, I loved the toy line. I thought it was something different. There was loads of different lines that come out. But we've got the gross out uh, meter here. 
which was purchased sealed in a box never open so pick that up then we picked up the phantom flyer which is also sealed uh, again a little vehicle for beetlejuice to fly around in a little bit of a dent in the box but yeah happy with that and i guess just to bring it to life a little bit more you would have seen this in previous videos where are you beetlejuice I really did like the toy line. So I've already got one of the toys in my collection. And this is what I mean. It, I don't, if I've got one of the toys, I'm happy with. But if they come up and they're within budget, I will pick up some of the other vehicles or figures because I just think, especially, you know, with the artwork, I think it looks good. I think it looks good on the figures, good on the cards. However, when you get to the actual, some of the boxed items, the artwork just looks, to me, it looks so much more better and a lot more effort's been put into some of these box products. I'll let you into a little secret. I have got the Beetlejuice Grave. I don't know. I don't know what it was called, but like the grave, where it's a little bit of a magic trick. So you pull the grave out. You put the tiny little Beetlejuice inside. You push that grave back. I'm gonna put a picture at the top as well. Uh, you push that back, and then you can move a lever, and then that figure disappears. A little bit like what you would have seen with Supernaturals in terms of the playset where you had the tomb. You can use the key. You can change, and it's like a kind of low budget magic trick where it turn around there'd be a figure there you turn back there's no figure uh so i've got that beetlejuice not play set but necessity potentially well i've got it definitely coming but it's an necessity coming so i've got that so that you know quite a big toy haul this week if i'm going to pick out some ones that i absolutely adore i didn't think i'd be able to find a killer tom tomatoes 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 uh in the pack with the artwork i really like this i love the movies from the 80s i've got all the arrow movies uh, on blu-ray because i just love that kind of corniness of the movies but really did enjoy the 90s cartoon as well so yeah happy to have this but but if there is only one and there can be only one i will always go back to bucky o'hare this is the quest this is what i'm trying to get completed through 2021 variants and all now Thanks to Andy's toys and models showing me some of the variants. I am now going for the variants as well as the normal standard range. If you haven't checked out Andy's toys and models as well, I'll put a little clip in the corner. Definitely check out his channel. Uh, been going for about, I want to say maybe five months, six months, uh, but a decent channel and massive, massive amount of toy knowledge and lots of toys like myself in the background. Then he'll take you, he does a brilliant pickup videos brilliant review of his toys bits and pieces but yeah definitely if you're if you love your toys definitely check out andy's toys and models i'll leave it as that but yes happy with the bucky o'hare we will complete this line this year there's no doubt about that on that note i will leave this video here but give you a little bit of an update in terms of what's coming on the channel so fingers crossed i think we're coming to the end of this lockdown I hope we're coming to the end of this lockdown. We're told it could be soon. We are going to have from our government on Monday coming a little bit of a road path in terms of how we're going to get there. And when shops, I guess, you know, when shops will reopen, when shops reopen, boot sales will start straight away. You will see me out there with this GoPro. I have my headlight from China that finally arrived. And when I tell you, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it because it's too light now in the mornings. But this thing is bloody bright. Uh, I've worn it a few times just to try it in the garden and it literally shines down the street where I'm thinking, Jesus, how powerful is this bloody light? I think it's going to look awkward if I go to a boot sale with it, but I'm going to wear it. If it's dark, I'm wearing it anyway. Uh, so hopefully I can show you guys that as well because it is hilarious. Uh, and then I've got a comic video coming mostly today. I'll mostly film it after this just so I've got the contents and I'll edit that together. And yes, that's it for the moment. Another toy pickup next week. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you again next week with a toy video, or if not tomorrow, with a comic book pickup uh, video where we discuss a little bit more on trading cards as well. So take care. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely weekend.